Hi there and welcome back. So let's continue with the endocrine system and in this video we will take a look at the adrenal gland. So I just found this picture to focus on the adrenal gland. Remember from the top we started with uh, hypothalamus, pituitary gland, thyroid, parathyroid and now we are looking at adrenal gland. They are called adrenal gland because they are adjacent to or supra right above the both kidneys. So that's why they are called adrenal glands. And in adrenal glands, the outer portion of the adrenal gland is called cortex and the middle portion or the inner portion is called medulla. Adrenal cortex releases certain hormones working with the central system. Uh, likewise, the inner portion or the middle portion, the medulla, also releases certain hormones working with the uh, hypothalamus and pituitary gland. Any surplus or any deficiency of those hormones leads to, and we will talk into uh, those disorders eventually as we move on. So, that's the basic anatomy and uh, if you are curious, you can learn the medical literature and the specific names given for the specific hormones. So, as I was just saying, the cortex, they produce certain hormones and there are different names given for those. So, uh, basically what they do, simply speaking, it boils down to electrolytes, sodium, potassium and something that can influence the metabolism of sugar, fats and proteins in our body, period. And yes, you can medically define using those medical jargons, but imagine uh, the hormones that can do the influence on the metabolism of sugar, fat, protein uh, that can strike the check and balance as it relates to the potassium, sodium, electrolytes in our body. That's what adrenal cortex does, simply speaking. Likewise, adrenal medulla or the middle portion of those tiny things right above the two kidneys, right? They do the epinephrine and norepinephrine, okay? So they release those hormones um, and as a result what happens, it increases the cardiac activity, dilates the bronchial tubes, it stimulates the production of glucose. How does this sound? And or the second one, if needed, the norepinephrine, right? It constricts the vessels and raises the blood pressure. Does these two ring any bell? Recall what we did when we were looking at the nervous system. So they mimic the sympathetic nervous system because during the times of stress, these hormones are secreted by the medulla in response to the nervous, nervous stimulation. Remember, they all work together whether nervous system, immune system, lymphatic system, digestive system, all work together, just like you, me, field partners, customers, underwriters, right? And I like this one because it portrays what we talked so far. So we have our cortex. This is the amplified adrenal gland. So cortex outer portion, medulla is the middle portion or the inner portion and various hormones they release as and when needed by our body. Awesome, right? And I must say here that cortex and medulla, cortex does certain things, medulla mimics like how nervous system works in anxiety and stress and all that. So I was thinking sometimes, you know, when 
uh, customer has a priority to get the life insurance policy as one of the requirements for the mortgage loan approval. So there is anxiety, there is stress that I need to get this done right quickly ASAP. So we can have an email, phone, fax, you name it. And we all work together to serve the customer, to serve you, right? And we can connect, we can connect this with our body to business because homeostasis is what? What our body does to maintain the internal environment stable, safe and healthy. Just like that we do in the business. We work together to find the solution on a critical scenario like mortgage loan approval. Just one example, there could be many more, right? So enough on the adrenal glands as far as the anatomy goes. We'll come back and we'll take a look at the disorders, okay? See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.